I'm Annika Vandenbrink. I'm a researcher at Wageningen Marine Research. I'm here in Svalbard, the island archipelago in the Arctic. We're here to survey and sample the beaches to find out what kind of non-indigenous species might be arriving due to human activities. The melting ice in the Arctic is allowing for more human activities and shipping traffic in the area. This brings with it the risk of introducing marine non-indigenous species, species that don't naturally occur in the area. It's our job at Wageningen Marine Research to find out where these species are arriving and what type of species they are. We're travelling the southern coast of Svalbard on the Magnus Saremba, surveying and sampling different beaches. So we're looking for the organisms that live inside the sediment. In this case we're taking a macrofauna sample, the larger organisms in the sediment. We're going to put the uh, sample in the sieve and uh, get rid of whatever small sediment we can and put it in a jar. So we also want to find out what smaller organisms live in the sediment, the myofauna. So we're going to take a smaller core and not sieve it this time, we'll put it straight in the bottle. We're also taking a sample of the top one centimetre of sediment. We can analyse this for DNA to find out what organisms have been here recently. That way we don't have to go looking for individual organisms, but we can just use a sample. And by knowing what's growing on the hard substrate, we get a good idea of what's living here. Here we are at a, a glacier called Hamburg Bukta. We've just finished doing our sampling. We've got macrofauna samples, myofauna samples, and some samples for eDNA analysis. We've got Hans up there looking for polar bears. And it's a pretty amazing place to do some sampling. In the last decades, this glacier has retreated significantly and is expected to continue to retreat, potentially opening up a new shipping passage. Well, it's the middle of the night. It's time to go back to our ship. Human debris can travel hundreds of kilometers on ocean currents and wash up on beaches far away. We want to know if organisms can hitch a ride on this debris and end up in places they wouldn't naturally occur. We walked along the beach for 10 minutes and we found this amount of plastic waste. Detergent bottle, rope, wrappers, even a packet of chewing tobacco. That's the kind of thing we find around here. What's that one called? Like the Veruca stromia or something? Our trip complete, it's time to head up north. We're going to continue our sampling on the northern beaches of Svalbard now, but this time we're going along with ocean wide expeditions on the Plancius. Many good things about travelling with ocean-wide expeditions is that we get to talk to the public about what we're doing. more of this along the beaches. Hi, I'm Annika Vandenbrink. I'm a researcher at Wageningen Marine Research. 
I'm here in Svalbard. Come to seaweed? Do you think I love seaweed? And that's it, we're back. We took more than 300 samples. We did more beaches than we had planned to. And now all that's left is to go home. Bye.